Yes lads, welcome back to another video and in today's one we've got a huge game against Scunthorpe United in League 2. It's a massive game for us. My prediction for this one is Newport County 2, Scunthorpe United 0. I don't think they're going to cause much problems because they are down there. Um, but we just need to be a sensible team and just get the job done. Hopefully Barrow can do us a favour by beating Forest Green. That'll be fantastic. I don't know if that'll happen, um, but hopefully it does. I'm going to go Newport 2. Scumthorpe nil, and I'm going to say Lewis Collins and, and Podriga Mon to get the goals. So I'm saying 2 0. I'll see you at kickoff. Come on, right, the point. kick off at Rodney Parade. Come on, the boys. Let's get a comfortable win. Let's get one step closer to confirming the playoffs. 15 minutes gone at Rodney Parade. Um, it's been quite a slow start to the game. We've dominated the ball um, out of the two teams, though. Scumthorpe look awful at the moment. Um, they are pressing quite high, which is worrying. Um, because these type of games always do worry me that, that they might come here and, and you know, you know um, the, the word is shit out, so a, a win, and they might do that. I'm not saying they will, but they might. Um, Collins and Amond have gone quite close as well in the first 15, but 15 minutes gone at Rodney Parade. Newport nil, scum Yes, 1-0. That's what it's all about. Podrick Amond whips the ball in, and I think it's George Taft who scores the own goal. Great work down that left-hand side of Mon's ball in. And it's a great own goal from George Taft. The former Cambridge United player puts it Newport County 1, uh, Scumthorpe United 0. That is a great start to this game. 29 minutes um, on the clock. We've absolutely dominated them in this game. They have, you know, they have literally done nothing in, in this game. They haven't even turned up. And it is 29 minutes gone. Newport 1, Scumthorpe 0. George Taft on goal. Come on the port. I said 2-0, it could be a lot, lot more than that. Uh, 30 minutes in, 2 nil. Yes, to the we've done it again. Four or five minutes later, sorry. And it's uh, Mickey Dimitro shot across, sorry, from Josh Sheehan. And Dimitro gets his head onto it. And it is, he's still on the ground, actually. Hope he's all right. But it is Newport 2, Scunthorpe United 0. They have not been absolutely nothing in this game. They've been non-existent. We force them into making long balls. We're absolutely dominating the ball. We're creating loads of chances. And it is 2-0 to the port. Mickey Dimitro with the goal. Brilliant, brilliant cross, sorry, by Josh Sheehan. I just can't believe this. We're scoring goals, lads. We're actually scoring goals at Rodney Parade. This is unbelievable. 2-0. Come on. Can we make it a I can't three? believe it. I just can't. What is going on? What is going on at Rodney Parade? It's 39 minutes on the clock. And it is Newport 3 Scunthorpe United nil. It's Lewis's Collins' first Newport goal, I think. It's a long throw in by um, is that Bennett or Dim no long throw in by Demetrio. The keeper spills it, and Lewis Collins gets on the end of it. And it is Newport three, Scunthorpe United nil. Six minutes before half time. What a first half performance at Rodney Parade. This is absolutely sensational. Come on, the port. Half time at Rodney Parade, then, guys. It's Newport County three, Scunthorpe United nil. Uh, unbelievable performance in this first half. Absolutely obliterated Scumthorpe United, which I wanted, but I don't know if we. I didn't know if we was going to get it, but we really have. We've been all over them in this game. They've not been in the game at all, and it is three 0 inside the first half. I know I'm feeling a bit optimistic, but could we make it four or five? Um, I don't want us to sit back. I really don't want us to sit back and just take a three 0 win. I want to go for more. Four, five, six. Let, let's, let's absolutely wipe the floor with them. Why not? Um, but it is halftime. 3-0. I'm going to say my full-time prediction. I'm going to say Newport 5, Scumthorpe 1. I'm going to say I'll be 5-1 at halftime. Uh, full-time, sorry. But a massive second half. If we can just absolutely dominate them now. Um, and hopefully get something out of the game. And also, Barrow are beating Forest Green at Forest Green. Which is a massive result for us. Big second half, come on. Now we're gone at Rodney Parade, it is still Newport 3, Scumthorpe United 0. But former Newport County striker Janelle, uh, Janelle? Lanelle John Lewis has scored for Grimsby at Exeter, which is a big result as it stands. Hopefully they can get the win um, and hopefully Salford lose to Bradford as well. That would be the dream. Um, but Scumthorpe are starting to uh, grow into the game a little bit. They're having a little bit more of the ball than the first half. Like I said, they were non-existent in the first half. They're starting to get on the ball a little bit. Um, causing our defence a little bit of problem, but not too much. And like I said, we're freeing them up anyway, so um, it, it's not to worry. But they are starting to, you know, 
play the ball around, starting to get on the ball a little bit more, and we're starting to be a bit more sloppy on the ball, which we didn't really see in the first half, but I can't complain, it's half an hour to go and we're 3-0 up, so, you know, we're not going to bottle it from here, as I say that, um, but yeah, 3-0, with half an hour to go, I did say 5-1, full-time score, I'd probably change that to like 4-0, I don't think there'll be many goals in this second half, the, the damage was done in the first half, wasn't it? Um, but half an hour to go, Newport 3, 75 minutes gone at Rodney Parade. Um, we have rested a lot of players in the last sort of 10 minutes. Amond has come off for Nicky Maynard. And then uh, Josh Labadee, uh, Josh Sheehan and Ryan Haynes have all come off for Luke Gambin, Matty Dolan and Kevin Ellison. So I see what Michael Flynn is doing. We're 3-0 up um, at home with 15 minutes to go. Um, the result is done now. There's no way that uh, they're going to score three or even four goals. So the game is completely done. Resting players for Saturday in a big game against Cheltenham. Um, so yeah, it's clever team management that from Michael Flynn. 15 minutes to go. Not really much to talk about in this second half, really. Um, you know, just stay composed now. Maybe try and get an, another goal. But 3-0 home win is, is just what the doctor ordered and just what we needed. Um, after Saturday's nil-nil draw, so whether we will go on to score again, is you know it doesn't really matter, does it? Three 0 is still a very good result, but 15 minutes to go. Newport three scum. Nicky up. Maynard just nearly made it four. 78th minute, and what a ball played through. Nicky Maynard tries to dig the goalkeeper and it just hits the bar. Oh, that is a great chance for four 0 Nicky Maynard as well. Oh, and it hits the bar. It's still 3-0. 12 minutes to go, but that would have been absolutely sensational. He just dinked it over the goalkeeper. But it went over the goalkeeper and over the post. We'll hit the bar, sorry. Um, still 3-0. That could have been what the What is going on? Please, can someone tell me what is going on? 85th minute. It's a brilliant free kick by Matty Dolan. Comes on. What a free kick onto the head of Mickey Dimitro. Five minutes to go, and it is Newport Four, Stumthorpe United nil. What a performance this is. This is telling Salford and Exeter the playoffs is ours. We deserve this. We've been phenomenal um, tonight. We've been absolutely fantastic tonight. It's been a fantastic, well-drilled performance. Um, four, I did say, you know, we might only score four. It might only be four, four nil at the end, but that's fine. What a win this is. Mickey Dimitro, second of the, second of the game. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's completely... It was done at 3-0. Well, it was done at 2-0, in my opinion. But Newport 4, Scunthorpe United 0. What there a win. Are. Done. Seal finished. Full time at Rodney Parade. Newport County 4, Scunthorpe United 0. An absolute massive result. I'm not going to look at the Grimsby uh, versus Exeter score and the score um, between Salford and Bradford. I'm not going to worry about that. But what a fantastic win for Newport. My man of the match is Mickey Dimitro. Not just did he score two goals for crying out loud, but he played phenomenal at the back. Solid at the back. Brilliant bringing the ball out um, you know, from the back. I thought he was going to have a free, that free kick that Matty Dolan took right at the end of the game. I thought uh, that was going to be Dimitro's and he was going to score the hat-trick. That would have just sealed it completely. Um, I, I, th I think Mickey Dimitro was a 10 out of 10 today. He was absolutely perfect tonight. Um, if you have gone on to enjoy this video, please make sure to smash it a like and subscribe. We are on the road to 900 subscribers. Please make sure to hit that. It'll be much appreciated. And what a win for the Port. I'll see you in the next one on Saturday when we take on the league leaders, Cheltenham. Come on, the Port!